Hey guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnevi.net, which is my blog. Here in this screencast, we are going to um, look further in that Angular 2 forms. In the previous screencast, we have seen like how to get started with Angular uh, 2 forms with some of the bootstrap features over here. And as you can see here, we are in uh, particular in that particular form itself. And a uh, uh, few things which we have seen is like ng model and um, looping into that particular uh, collection, which is uh, ng4 was doing and uh, binding this particular drop down, right? Uh, we are going to leverage here further and we are going to see here like um, uh, live change state tracking. Let's suppose uh, there are certain uh, properties inside the class inside the model is getting changed, right? And based on that particular property, you want to track. Uh, you want to uh, do certain validation business logic validations uh, on your forms. So how can you do that? So for that particular piece, there is a uh, directive called ng control over here. Uh, obviously, it has to take some directive name, uh, which I am giving here is a movie name over here. Now with this directive inside, um, here you can see in that inside this br tag, right? What it is actually doing. So it's basically is like uh, it's just emitting one message over here, change state tracking and inside this look inside. So look inside is just a variable with that variable. It is just going to look inside this class name. So what is happening? So with this particular uh, variable, it will just see, OK, um, with this um, uh, uh, with this variable like um, so what is happening and what is uh, uh, what variables what properties are actually changing right so i will just uh, demonstrate this particular piece in a moment and another thing which i have changed over here is uh, you can see here this is the diff section which is uh, actually checking this uh, form hidden attribute so what it is, does is if form is valid or pristine state either of this is true then in that case it is just hiding the uh, this dip but uh, this particular div section which is saying movie name is required so um, as we have already talked about this uh, there is one style which i have um, uh, earlier introduced like ng invalid right so ng invalid is basically is in red color which is going to emit when there is form has become uh, dirty and is in invalid right now uh, let me flip over there in this form and let's quickly run this app and let's see uh, what exactly is happening right now so uh, here is the thing um, so the, this was the form which we have seen already uh, earlier so this is the inspect kind uh, which is the get property which was coming from this particular model as in json properties right so whatever i i'll change over here so it will directly emit over there, right? So it is again a live tracking, right? Now here uh, you can see here in the change state tracking, it says this this a class name is form control, which is ng in uh, currently in ng pristine mode, right? Which is that means is basically untouched. So this untouched means uh, this touched means is basically uh, uh, from the uh, mobile perspective whether it has been touched or untouched. So this happens when you uh, uh, when you have that uh, control over in there in text box and you just blur, uh, take out your control out of that then it has become touched and untouched so this is how it is changing right so if i do something here and again flipping over here then it is changing to touched so that's the one thing now let's change this value now it has become this um, ng dirty and although this is valid and if I go and just delete all the things, then here this div is emitting over here. So it is saying that movie name is required. So this is all about that alert class, right, which was uh, emitting from here. So this alert was coming from here. If the if, if it was uh, uh, like uh, neither of this case is getting satisfied, hence this um, message is coming with this particular class, right? So this is uh, uh, kind of visual um, stuff which you would like to uh, show to your users if something gone wrong on the form itself, right? So this we have already seen in angular one So this is the way which we are tackling in angular 2 perspective So this is the one thing which I wanted to show you here Second thing is all about this tracking mechanism via this ng control now this how this ng control is working So this is peeping inside this um, 
uh, via this look inside variable which i have already set here you can have your own name i have just given my just look inside and uh, with this look inside it is just uh, looking inside the class name so if i just have this um, um, what do you say like uh, look inside itself then it is just going to emit that uh, object html input which is uh, obviously saying it's an object but it is uh, nothing is going to specify that so for that inside uh, that child element you you need to have something like this if you want to inspect class name then it, it will just show you that okay what are the, the classes it has been utilized and um, uh, what uh, uh, functionality you would like to leverage upon so this is the one thing i hope you have liked this um, uh, segment in the next section we'll see more around uh, uh, dependency injection and other features uh, with angular services one more point i would like to discuss over here as i was saying in the last video like i will be um, putting all this content on this uh, git itself so you can just flip over to github.com slash rahul 19 and if you see the latest project with the name is itself it will come as getting started with angular 2 so everything has been um, it's been just um, uh, uh, it's uh, shared over there. You can just download and just run this. So there are certain instructions to run this uh, particular piece. You can just go through that. So that's the one thing. Uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. In the next section, we will see with um, our dependency injection piece. Till then, stay tuned and happy coding.